Hi YouTube, it's Boston Girl 5560 and I have to really figure out the best lighting in this place and I know I look horrid. I went to the YMCA and burnt 409 calories off the elliptical. But anyways, uh, I have a guest in this vlog. Here's Ava and she will be my guest in the vlog. I'm sure you like to see her. Let's see her. She's a big baby. She is 12 pounds now. So, you're, you're pretty much from now on going to see me looking really random when I do my videos because I'm trying to do them when I have time, which um, is going to lead into what this is about. What are the challenges as a single mother by choice? What are the challenges? I was asked by one of my subbies and I wrote a list. Yay! You know, to keep it on point. It's not new to me, but it wasn't new to me. Like, you know, I did expect these challenges, but what surprised me, some of the things surprised me, because I think I had like a Pollyanna view of everything, and excuse me, my little redness around there, I got my eyebrows waxed today, thank you Jesus, because they were looking horrid. But anyways, like, it surprised me about a lot of things, because I think I was always looking through things with like beautiful glasses of how it was going to be and I am totally thrilled to have my daughter but there are definitely things that I, I didn't anticipate especially you know being single not all the time I wasn't single the whole 39 years but you know basically coming and going as I please and really not having to worry about another person you know that is a big deal when you you know have a a child, an infant, you know, by yourself, um, I can't go anywhere I want to go when I want to go. Either I have to take her with me, which sometimes can be very cumbersome, or, you know, my mother will watch her. Well, that's pretty much the only one who's watched her up to this point is my mother. And I have to work around her schedule. So, you know, like I wanted to go to the gym and I was going to put her in the YMCA daycare, but I haven't seen it in full effect, I've seen the classroom, I've seen the get there after it's open, so until I see it, um, I'm not comfortable leaving her there, and if my mother's willing to watch her, why am I going to leave her there, so uh, that's one thing, and then um, uh, also, you know, with this just being my child, really, um, when she's like screaming her head off or whatever, it's like I have nobody really to commiserate with. Like, you know, your kid is screaming her head off like talking to her dad or whatever. You know, and I feel like it's kind of lonely because I want somebody to enjoy her too. You know, so, or, you know, be annoyed by her crying. So that's another thing. Um, my mother is not like my grandmother, okay? And that was another thing I anticipated, but really didn't get the full effect until now being back in Boston. Like my grandmother was selfless. We could have been with her from dusk till dawn and she didn't care. Like my mother complains, you know, like, you're not grateful I watched her or whatever. And I am grateful she watched her. Maybe I'm being a little, um, taking it for granted because, you know, my grandmother, you know, you don't have to say thank you. And I don't remember my mother ever saying thank you to my grandmother for watching me. So, I don't know. So my mother is not my grandmother, okay? And they are two different people. You know, my grandmother died when I was 18, but, you know, I wouldn't feel that I need to say thank you, even though I probably would have. But, you know, my grandmother, it wouldn't have been a problem. Um, She's very, Ava is very clean to me, and I can't blame her because it's just been me and her. You know, I, I haven't gone back to work yet. And 90% of the time it was me and her, other than two weeks my mother was in Georgia. So sometimes she, you know, freaks out if I, like, give her to somebody else. Or, you know, um, she freaked out on my father. She freaked out on my aunt or whatever. Like, she's like, I want my mommy. And I can't blame her because, like, I'm the only one she knows and been around all this time. I mean, if they start spending more time with her, I'm sure she'll start getting comfortable. But right now... They just came in for the moment. Okay, so I have like a phobia. I don't know if it's a phobia or I'm not yet mommy equipped for like when she's freaking out in public. Like 
you know, I know I used to be one of these people like, could you shut that kid up or whatever? And now I'm sitting here with a child that could be freaking out in public. And I think I'm like scared of what to do. And um, it hasn't happened yet. We have been places in the past of fireworks or I had this um, car seat canopy. So she was always covered. So she was always 95% of the time asleep. You know, but now she tends to be awake longer because she's older. And, you know, I don't want to not go somewhere because I'm scared she's going to freak out. You know, I need to put my big girl panties on and just deal with the situation. But babies aren't always consolable when you want them to be consolable. And that's another thing I learned. Um, some people have the greatest baby that just coos and odds. I have a baby who likes to scream her bloody head off at certain times. And, you know, I try everything. 95% of the time it's been gas. Oh my God, you're doing strawberries. You're doing strawberries. 95% of the time it's been gas. But, you know, I ain't got 20 minutes to sit there and pat her back in the middle of a grocery store. And, you know, so far my mother has watched her when I went to the store. But to be honest, you know, my mother not being able to watch her should not prevent me from going about my business and going to the store. I am a single mother and I'm going to have to get used to it and suck it up and do what I have to do. Granted, when I was in Georgia and she wasn't there, we did go to the store together, but you know, I just, but she was also younger. <laughs> I don't know. She got, you know, the freaking out in the store kind of buzzed me. Um, Sometimes I have the what the F moment, like, what did I do? You know, like, why did I do this? I mean, I'm back in Boston and I have a baby by myself. Was I smoking crack? You know, like, I'm thinking, like, how did it get this far? You know, not that I don't love her, but on some moments I feel like, what the hell did I do? Hard, it's also hard to get things done. This child is, you know, and I guess no child's going to permanently nap. You know what I mean? So, I can only really get things done when she's sleeping, you know? Also, she doesn't like to lay down anymore. She kind of wants to be propped up. She will watch TV. Like, I got a picture of her watching TV with my mom and um, stuff like that. And then, like, moving home, it's like, I really thought about why I left now that I'm here. So, those are the things I could think of, of off the cuff. If there are any more specific questions, no problem. I will answer them. If I come up with any more, which I'm sure along the way I'm going to come up with more, you know, I will maybe do a part two to this video. Bye, YouTube.